hey everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i made these vegan nigerian meat pies these pies came out so so well the crust was a perfect balance of buttery and flaky i'm going to start with making the pie crust first and as you can see everything i'm using for this crust is going to be really cold this is because we do not want the butter and margarine to melt when I'm using my hands to mix everything. So I'm just going to be adding my flour. Even my flour is really cold too. I put it in the freezer like a couple of hours before I started it. So my flour, baking powder, sugar and salt into the bowl. I used a mixture of vegan butter and vegetable shortening to make this crust. The butter for that buttery flavor and the shortening gives it, you know, structure and that flaky crust that we want. I'm just going to mix everything through till we have a breadcrumb like consistency. Then I'll make a hole and add just enough cold water to where it comes together. You don't want to add too much or you'll have a mess. After that, I'll just pour everything on the countertop and gently press it together till I form a ball and then wrap it up in cling film and let it chill in the fridge overnight or at least 30 minutes. Now to make the filling for the pie crust, I'm going to be using crumbled tofu and mushrooms. So the crumbled tofu is going to mimic the texture of minced meat, while the mushrooms will give the filling its juiciness. In a bowl, I'm going to be mixing the seasonings for the crumbled tofu with a bit of oil. Then I'll take the tofu, which I just drained and patted dry. I'll take the tofu in between my fingers and just press everything till I have about I would say small to medium sized crumbs. After that, I'll just mix everything well and bake at 350 Fahrenheit till it's a bit crunchy. And while it's baking, I'll just be bringing it out every now and then and stir it with a spoon so that one side doesn't get burnt. For the mushrooms, I'll just be dicing them into little cubes. Now we have the crunchy baked tofu and the mushrooms, we can start cooking. So in a pan, I'm just going to be adding some oil and then sauteing the onions for a couple of minutes. Then add one scotch bonnet. You can add more if you prefer more heat but I think this was perfect. So I'll just be frying it and adding some seasoning.
Then I'll be adding my mushrooms and cooking it for about four to five minutes. Now it's time to add the carrots and potatoes. So I'll just be mixing that and frying it for a while. In this bowl is a mixture of vegetable broth, which I bought from the store, and cornstarch. So I'm going to be adding that and allowing it to simmer for about 4-5 to five minutes. We still want the potatoes and carrots to be slightly undercooked, so that when we bake them, it comes out perfect and it's not soggy. I didn't add any salt at the beginning when I was seasoning it because I knew the vegetable broth was going to be salty. So now I'm just tasting for salt and I'll be adding some. Then I'll be adding the crumbled tofu. The crumbled tofu is crunchy right now but it's going to soak up the juice and have that minced meat texture. Now it's ready, I'm going to allow it to cool down completely before I start making my pies. Now back to the pie crust. So my dough has been chilling overnight inside the fridge. I'm just going to be kneading it lightly and divide it into four sections so that it's easier to handle. So I'm just going to be taking one section and rolling it out till it's about quarter of an inch thick. Then I'll take a saucer and you know cut out the circular shape. Then spread just add one tablespoon of the filling inside the dough then carefully close it and seal it with my fingers then I'll just seal it again using the fork After doing the first one, I realized I didn't like how big it was, so I just changed the salsa to a bowl, which was smaller. And I followed the same steps again. Please be careful not to overfill your pie so that the juice doesn't seep out while baking. It's time to bake them. So as a substitute for egg wash, I used aquafaba. So aquafaba is basically the liquid that comes with canned chickpeas. So I just brushed some of the liquid on the, on the pie so that I could get, you know, that slightly brown crust. now it's ready if you want some extra shine you can add you can brush some vegan butter on it
Everything I used for this video will be in the description box below, so please check it out. Thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section. Till next time. Bye.